Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap epicenter in Agoracom TV, a daily, fast-paced, edgy show bringing the best press releases out of the small cap world at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe even find your next great small cap investment. Now, it's Friday, July the 18th, a little bit of a slow news cycle day because it is a Friday and we are in July. However, i got three great press, press releases for you from both sides of the border. Let's start you off first on the U.S. side with Homeland Security Capital. Trades on the OTC under HOMS. They're announcing that their subsidiary, Nexus Technologies Group, has closed $1.2 million in new contracts. These were all closed in the second quarter of 2008. Like that number for a quarter. Uh, Nexus focuses on financial services firms educational institutions, retail locations, and large-scale multi-dwelling residential properties. The completion of these contracts are all expected to be done by late fourth quarter. I like that as well. They're signed in the second quarter, and they're expected to be uh, completed in the fourth quarter, which means they'll be able to recognize most of the revenue by them. Now, here's what's interesting. Homeland Security Capital, important to look at that name, what do they do? They're a consolidator of Homeland Security related businesses. So, that's where Nexus comes in here. They're one of the subsidiaries and uh, $1.2 million I mean, that's going to float up to the top line of Homeland Security Corp. Now, they did close yesterday at three cents a share. That's right at their 52 week low of three cents. Their highest, 51 cents. You're talking about they're off, you know, 97%. Worth taking a look at to see if there are any big time negative events that that uh, uh, that led to that. So a bit of a caveat there. Nonetheless, on its own, on its face, this press release is a pretty good one. Switching over to the Canadian side, Intercitic Minerals trades on the TSX, the big board under ICI. They're reporting results from 31 drill holes at their the Shang Gold project. Here's what's important about this. This set of drill holes are infill, focused on defining the existing NI43101 inferred mineral resource in preparation for a scoping study. So it looks like Intercitic is, uh, is far advanced into this project, and that's good to see. Here are some of the drill highlights. Hole 355, multiple mineralized zones, including 9 meters of 4.7 grams per ton of gold. Hole 365, multiple, multiple mineralized zone. Same for the other ones, by the way, so I won't repeat that. Uh, including 16 meters of 4.1 grams per ton of gold. And hole 384, the highlight there was 14.8 meters of 6.9 grams per ton of gold. Big numbers here. They also want you to make note of hole 414, where approximately 10 centimeters of core uh, exhibited visible gold. They're, they're sending it off for assay. But 10 centimeters of core uh, exhibited visible gold. That's a good sign. They closed yesterday at dollar five, just above their 52-week low of 95 cents, and significantly below their 52-week high of 250. So, based on news like this, plus they're they're, they're beefing up the 4331 and 43101, and they're preparing for a scoping study, uh, might be a good time to take a closer look at Intercitic. And finally, Norant Resources trades on the venture exchange on the stock symbol NOT. This is an Agorcom client, got to disclose that, but this news definitely stands on its own two feet. This was announced yesterday at the close of trading, which is why we're reporting on it this morning. Uh, they announced new copper nickel occurrences uh, at the anomaly AT12 in the McFalls Lake area of northern Ontario. Uh, on AT12, two drill holes were, were completed, encouraging wits. Uh, they, incur they returned encouraging widths of visual copper nickel, copper nickel iron sulfide mineralization up to 29.2 meters. Uh, AT12, for all of you who are Noron followers of the story, is located 9.5 kilometers northeast of the Eagle One deposit. Uh, why is that significant? Uh, I'll talk about that in a second. But they do have some results also from Eagle Two. Uh, assay results received from five holes there, with the most significant intersection being 6.2 meters. Averaging 1.14% nickel and 0.52 grams per ton of total precious metals. Noron is announcing that they now control and hold interest in about 1,166 square kilometers of prospective land in the Ring of Fire exploration area. Let's go back to the significance of all this. Uh, Eagle One puts us all into perspective. As previously announced, Eagle One hosts right now indicated resources of 1.83 million tons, averaging 1.9% nickel, 1.18% copper, 1.12 grams ton of platinum, and 3.91 grams ton of palladium. As well, they've got an inferred resource there on Eagle One of 1.09 million tons, averaging 2.39% nickel, 1.27% copper, 1.37 grams ton of platinum, and 4.5 grams ton of palladium. 
That's why this follow-up news here on AT12 and Eagle 2 uh, is important. Uh, look for more news come out of the company, I guess, as they continue drilling. The, uh, they've made no secret of that. The company closed yesterday at $3.33. been a bit of a darling on the TSX Venture Exchange. In fact, they're named to the TSXV top 50 of the, the best 50 uh, stocks on the TSX Venture Exchange last year, including the number one spot in the mining category, so good for them. That's a wrap for the day. As always, if you're looking for more great small cap companies, don't forget about the Agoracom Marketplace, close to 90 companies listed by industry and exchange, so you can find the one best suited for your portfolio right now. Uh, that's a wrap for the weekend. Have a great one, and we'll see you on Monday.